Welcome to ProWebcast News, where we bring you daily industry updates. Today is Tuesday, December 8th, and you're watching the Afternoon Update with Paul Wilson. Today's news is sponsored by Sunderland Group, your success, our tradition. For more information, please visit www.sunderlandgroup.com. Now for today's headlines. The outlook of U.S. CEOs on the economy improved during the fourth quarter, despite continuing hesitancy to increase hiring and capital spending, according to a recent survey by Business Roundtable. 68% of respondents said they expect their company's sales to improve over the next six months. However, just 40% said they expect to boost U.S. capital spending during the same period. Meanwhile, 31% said they anticipate cutting more U.S. jobs. The CEO Economic Index returned to a positive reading, with a reading of 71.5, up from 44.9 during the previous quarter. The reading was the highest since the third quarter of 2008. In related news, economic growth in the U.S. is expected to resume next year, fueled by a forecasted manufacturing revenue increase of 5.7 percent, according to the Institute for Supply Management. While capital expenditures are expected to fall, the decline is forecast to improve to 4 percent in 2010, from 7.8 percent this year. Meanwhile, revenue in the non-manufacturing sector will increase by 1.3 percent in 2010, while capital expenditures in the services sector are expected to decrease by 6.7 percent. In addition, manufacturers believe employment in the, U in the sector will improve by 1.5 percent, while the costs of labor and benefits are expected to increase by an average of 1.4 percent next year. In insurance and PNC news, the hardening property insurance market that occurred during the first half of 2009 showed signs of easing during the third quarter, according to a recent report by Aon Corp. During the first half of the year, property insurance rates rose an average of 4 percent to 5 percent, with increases of as much as 20 percent in certain cases. However, during the third quarter, rates flattened to an average increase of just 0.2 percent, aided by light losses, strong profits from most insurers, and a $463 billion increase in ind industry surplus by the end of the second quarter, Aon said. Meanwhile, approximately one quarter of property buyers increased their limits during the third quarter, up from around 11 percent during the second quarter. The report also noted that for directors and officers' liability insurance, the hardening market also shown, showed signs of improvement. During the third quarter, DNO rates increased 3.2 percent. Meanwhile, the DNO liability market for non-financial firms remained soft, with average rate decreases of nearly 5 percent. I'm Paul Wilson, and thanks for watching ProWebcast News. For more in-depth news and features, visit ProducersWeb.com.